the problem we're trying to solve is hospital acquired infections and so statistically uh, somewhere between 5 and 10 percent of us will develop a hospital acquired infection during one of our stays in the hospital and these are potentially lethal infections uh, and so the specific problem that we're looking at are these intraluminal hospital acquired infections so uh, contamination of the inside of the IV line uh, and so we were looking at that problem of contamination and trying to figure out how to prevent it uh, and ended up developing uh, a medical device that uses UV and an optimized flow pattern to quickly sterilize the fluid before it reaches the patient to help prevent these types of infections. Uh, and so that, was, that project was my motivation for applying to the innovation program because I had this project that was really cool. I wanted to continue working on it. I had no idea what to do next because I had the engineering background, we had the medical background, we had none of the business or legal background in our initial team. It was just engineers and a doctor working together. Uh, so the innovation program, the goal was to sort of get exposure to the other side of things there. And so um, that, that's sort of been my, my side pet project that I've been following through with the innovation program. And so we've started a company now and have been pursuing that. So we uh, incorporated in July 2011. We are BBR Medical Innovations Incorporated. Early on, we, we formed, we went out, we started talking to people, and the initial reception we got was very cold. There, there's sort of an art to knowing what what needs to go into a good pitch, and that was by far the, the single most useful thing that I got out of the innovation program was uh, Engineering 321, the enterprise plan writing portion of it. So um, spring of last year, working with Professor Possum and just refining that that pitch and at, at the end of the term the big thing that you have is you have a slide deck that's ready to go that I can take anywhere and have my pitch to, to try to sell my idea. A lot of faculty members will have this list of patents that they have that are just sitting there. They invent something, technology transfer office files the patent, it never moves further than that. You know, here they really they give us that that set of tools so that if we decide this is something that we're excited about, we know how to figure out whether it's worth pursuing, and if we decide it's worth pursuing, we know what those next steps are. Um, and so that's that's really where I think it will benefit me, is just that I'm prepared now when and if those opportunities come up down the road.